Thank you for choosing iSpring Whole House Central Water Filtration System. In this video, we will show you how to properly install and operate the system. Before we begin, please carefully read the user information before you start and installation requirements sections of the user manual. It is also important to note that the system's maximum pressure limit is 125 PSI. Use a pressure reducing valve to regulate inlet water pressure down to 80 PSI if necessary. If daytime pressure is at 80 PSI, nighttime pressure may exceed the maximum pressure limit. Please connect the system to the main water supply before the water heater. The system is intended for cold water use only. Do not run hot water through the system. Do not install the system where the water in the system might potentially freeze. If you have an electric water heater, please turn off the power during installation to avoid damage. The system requires a sewage pipe or a drain hole for draining wastewater from system backwash and rinse. It is recommended to have a pre-filter installed before the system. A water route bypass is also recommended to allow easier access to replace the pre-filter and troubleshoot the system if any problems arise. Before you begin installation, please check the packaging to make sure you have all the parts and tools needed to install the system. Step 1. Set the system in the desired location. Step 2. Shut off the main water line and open the nearest faucet to release water and pressure in the pipe. Step 3. Measure and cut the main water inlet pipe. Prepare a bucket to catch water from the pipe. Step 4. Connect the stainless braided hose to the system water inlet. Connect the other end of the hose to the main water. Stainless braided hoses fit 3 quarter inch male NPT. A convert fitting is needed for this connection depending on your pipe type. Repeat this step on the water outlet. Step 5. Insert the sewage hose into the system's sewage outlet, followed by inserting the stainless steel clamp and lock it tightly to the sewage outlet. Connect the other end of the hose to a drain hole or drain pipe. A convert fitting may be needed for this connection depending on the type of pipe. Step 6. Plug in the power adapter to the system. Plug in the power supply to a 110 volt socket. The installation is now complete. System Startup – Soaking Filter Materials Before turning on the main water supply, please make sure the system bypass valves are in the bypass position. Step 1. Slowly turn on the main water supply. Step 2. Turn on a cold water faucet and let the water run for a few minutes until the system is free of foreign material that entered the system during installation. Step 3. Slowly open the system water inlet valve to about 45 degrees. Fully open the system water outlet valve and let the water run until all air is purged from the unit. Turn off faucet when water runs clean and there is no more air exiting the system. Step 4. Operate the bypass to the service position and check for any water leakage at each connection. After ensuring the system is leak-free, the system tank should be full. Close the water inlet valve and let the filter material soak for 10 minutes. System Regeneration In this section, we will perform system regeneration twice. The purpose of performing system regeneration is to prepare filter materials for daily use. Step 1. Fully open the system water inlet valve. Close the system water outlet. Step 2. Press and hold the menu button on the interface for 3 seconds to unlock the screen. Step 3. Press and hold the up and down buttons at the same time for 3 seconds in the unlock state to enter the user menu settings. Use the set regen button to confirm the parameter setting and enter the next parameter setting option. Step 4. Use up or down buttons to adjust the backwash duration to 10 minutes. Press the set regen button again to confirm the parameter setting and enter the next parameter setting option. Step 5. Press up or down buttons to adjust the rinse duration to 5 minutes. Press the set regen button again to confirm the parameter setting and enter the next parameter setting option until it displays programming complete. Step 6. 
Press and hold the Set and Regen button for 3 seconds to enter the manual regeneration mode. Choose Immediate Regeneration. Press the Set Regen button again to confirm the option. Water should be draining out from the sewage outlet to drain pipe within a few seconds. The regeneration process, including backwash and rinse, takes 15 minutes to complete. In the meantime, please check for any leakage on the sewage outlet and drain pipe. Step 7. After the filter material regeneration process is finished, press and hold the menu key for 3 seconds to unlock the interface. Repeat step 6 to perform immediate regeneration again. Step 8. After the second filter material regeneration process is finished, press and hold the menu key for 3 seconds to unlock the interface. Press and hold the up and down buttons at the same time for 3 seconds in the unlock state to enter the user menu settings. Use the set regen button to confirm the parameter setting and enter the next set of parameters as outlined in the following steps. Step 9. Use up or down buttons to adjust the backwash duration to 15 minutes. Press the Set Regen button again to confirm the parameter setting and enter the next parameter setting option. Press up or down buttons to adjust the rinse duration to 10 minutes. Press the Set Regen button again to confirm the parameter setting and enter the next parameter setting option until it displays Programming Complete. Step 10. Open the water outlet. Turn on a cold water faucet nearby and let the water run until clear. Congratulations! Your iSpring Whole House Central Water Filtration System is now set up and ready for use. The default setting for the system regeneration is set at 2 a.m. every 8 days with 15 minutes of backwash and 10 minutes of rinse. You can adjust the regeneration interval according to the needs of your local water conditions. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.